Hi, Nick here, Complete Custom Painting, over 2,000 jobs completed, uh, over 2,000 sits. Today we're doing the enameling of kitchen cabinetry for a homeowner. Happens to be an oak uh, cabinets, and what we're doing is we're gonna do it in multiple stages. So step one, we normally stage. Um, so if you take a look around here, we've removed all the doors, uh, we've covered all the walls, we've used zip wall poles to protect adjacent rooms in the house where, from where we're going to be spraying. We've covered the new countertop, we're gonna do two layers, and we've covered all the floor. Generally on a floor we'll cover with two layers of paper um, and maybe even a layer of plastic in between the paper. So we protect 100% of the homeowner stuff. And then I'll be bringing you through the next stages of the process. So first step in preparing the cabinets, besides preparing uh, the environment to protect the homeowner stuff, is to get them clean. That means hand oils, cooking oils, grease, anything that's sitting on the cabinets that when we sand it, won't be removed and that requires a degreaser. Uh, TSP works, um, 409 works, but you want something strong that's going to really degloss and remove the grease. So here's we got greased lightning. Uh, it says real fast, real clean. So what we do is notice we got two layers of paper covering their floor plus plastic so that if we get any spills. There's really no chance this is going to get through all that, but um, just in case we cover the homeowner stuff like that. So this product calls for it to sit on there or dwell on the surface for uh, 10 to 15 seconds. And then we use really hot water with a Scotch-Brite pad and Dawn dishwasher soap. And then we get after it a little bit like this. And you want to take off anything that's dirty, anything that's soft, any noticeable grease. Um, if you skip this step and just sand, what you'll end up doing is pressing the cooking oils and the hand oils into the grain and then you'll prime and paint it and then it'll buckle off. So this is actually a very, very important step. I would say the cleaning and the priming are the two most important steps. Top coats vary. There's a multiple decent top coats. There's a couple of really good top coats I'm aware of. Um, but if you skip a step on the cleaning and you step, skip a step on the priming, uh, you're, you're All right, we've protected all the homeowner stuff. We've put up several zip, zip walls. We've washed all the cabinets, as well as all the doors, drawer boxes, everything. We've sanded them and we've deglossed them with denatured alcohol. Now we're gonna prime them. So what we've done is we've double, double layered the floor with paper, we put a layer of plastic in between it, and then we put up a zip wall with a fan going outside in this area where we're gonna spray all the doors and drawer boxes. So this whole area is a, it's about the size of a small room. It's about 15 by 10. Um, we've got our drawer or our door rack set up. We've got our spray uh, booth set up, and we're going to spray these doors. So I'll just do a quick demo of the primer we use and uh, how we spray them to show you it doesn't create a lot of overspray, um, and you can keep the smell and the overspray to a minimum. Um, you want to use an oil for the first coat of primer and then you want to use an adhesion primer, something that blocks as well as does a really good job adhering. Because um, this is probably the, the second most important step after the cleaning and sanding. So we've done three total coats. We've washed them, we've sanded them, we put one coat of oil primer, adhesion primer, and we put two full coats of enamel. Uh, they got a great luster on them. Um, we use a top coat product that resembles oil, is very durable, should last them another 15, 20 years, no problem. So they had a really good kitchen, um, hardwood, quality boxes, the shelves were in great shape, 
and they decided they didn't want to spend $50,000 on new cabinetry, new layout, and a bunch of other stuff. So they went with the countertop, tile, some new appliances, and then we did this to the doors, drawer boxes, and then we threw in the interiors with the shelves. Um, they had some interior shelves that were, uh, um, that were OSB, and they decided they wanted them to look white like the rest of it, so we primed those and did that for free for them.